Wearing a kimono is one of my bucket list things to do in Japan and Arashiyama is the perfect place to do that. I'm going to show you 8 things to do in the beautiful district of Arashiyama. This is part 2 of my 3 day Kyoto itinerary. Today is our second day in Kyoto and we're exploring the Arashiyama area. I can't wait because we're trying on kimono today. We're going to take lots of pictures and I'm going to try and film the whole process for you guys. We rented our kimonos from Kyolan Kimono Rental which you can book online via their website or email. When we arrived we put all of our belongings into this bag and got started by choosing our kimonos. They have so many colours and styles to choose from and they do vary in price so make sure you check the price tag. You can see the different price plans on their website. Standard adult kimonos for women and men are about 5,500 yen, which is about 37 US dollars or 56 Australian dollars. They have premium ceremonial kimonos, including those made of silk that are a lot more expensive, but they do have discounts for students and it's also cheaper for children. I recommend booking an early morning time slot so you get first pick of their full range. I knew I wanted pink, so I was deciding between these different shades and patterns. I chose the standard 5,500 yen kimono which also includes the belt and a bag and I was a bit overwhelmed by the belt colours but the staff helped me pick one that contrasted really nicely. The process of putting on a kimono is quite intricate and takes about 15 minutes because there are so many layers that are fitted to your body shape. I really loved how she folded the belt for a more eye-catching look and really appreciated how much effort goes into putting on a kimono. You can choose to get your hair done for an additional cost and there are various hairstyles to choose from. My sister's one is a little bit more expensive at 17 Australian dollars which is about 11 US dollars. The hairstyle I chose was 1150 Australian dollars which is about 750 US dollars. Some accessories are included but you can pay more to add more accessories to your hairstyle. Tenruji Temple is the most important temple in Kyoto's Arashiyama district and is listed as a World Heritage Site. It boasts a beautiful Zen garden and pond and has the most magnificent garden trail where so many different species of flowers bloom here. end of the garden trail it leads you in the direction of the famous Arashiyama bamboo forest so that's where we're headed. to spend too much time here other than checking out the bamboo grove because there are so many other wonderful places to see and things to do in Arashiyama.
We walked around trying to find a restaurant but didn't realize that a lot of them required a booking. But we ended up finding some street food and that's what we had for lunch instead. I wish there was more pork in it though. Yeah. He only put a couple of pieces. Ooh, oh. It's still very hot. These takoyaki are so big. Nice and plump. Lots of filling inside. It's really nice. Look at that octopus inside. Nice and crunchy, not too thick, so it doesn't get stuck to your teeth too much. And the strawberries, the best. Perfect ratio of sugar to strawberry. And the strawberry is really nice. Yummy. It is about a 20 to 30 minute hike up the mountain to get to the monkey park and we didn't have enough time to return the kimonos before the park closed at 4.30. Regretfully, we walked up there in these really uncomfortable shoes. Visitors can actually get quite close to the monkeys and as long as you follow the rules where you don't feed them and you don't stare at them in the eyes, they will leave you alone. They're usually more aggressive towards each other and have a tendency to wrestle and chase each other around. This monkey was a little bit naughty and was chasing and fighting some of the other monkeys so the staff member had to come out and break up the commotion. One of the best things about being up here is seeing the incredible panoramic view of Kyoto. The hike was definitely worth it for this. Struggling. Mm. <laughs> On our way back down. It's so uncomfortable in these shoes, I don't know why we did this to ourselves.
before we ended our day in Arashiyama, we checked out the Kimono Forest, which is a beautiful art installation of fabric designs that make up kimonos in Japan. Do you feel happy now? We really wanted to eat katsudon again, so we settled on this spot for dinner. Wow, Arashiyama was one of my favorite days in Japan. Next up in Kyoto, we visit the Fushimi Inari Shrine, visit the traditional Starbucks, and eat at the Nishiki Market. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Japan content. I'll see you in my next video.